Hey everybody, so recently I did a video about hex editors and binary data. Today I want to continue that conversation and look at some mistakes that students often make when using the string copy and the mem copy functions. This can be a little confusing, especially when students are used to working with text. They may not see the difference between these functions, and so sometimes they use one when they should really be using the other. String copy is designed for strings, while mem copy can be used for any memory you want to copy from one place to another. The big difference is that string copy actually looks at the data you're copying. It expects a string, and that string needs to have a null terminating character. Basically, string copy is going to start at the beginning of your, of, of your block of memory, and it's going to copy characters until it hits a zero. If it never hits a zero, it's going to copy forever. Actually, it won't copy forever. What it's going to do is it's going to keep running until it finally reaches a spot in memory that you have no business writing to, and then you're going to seg fault. But the point is, is that it's it's inspecting the data and it uses the data that you're copying to determine when to stop. Okay, memcopy on the other hand, memcopy doesn't do this. With memcopy, you give it a, a block that you're copying from and a block you're copying to, and you tell it how many bytes to copy and it copies it. And it doesn't care what's in those blocks of memory. It just copies the bytes straight over. So if I have this array in memory, string copy is only going to copy the first three bytes regardless of how much I want to be copied. And if that's what I want, then great. Memcopy will copy all of the bytes. And that's really it. I do want to make one other point, and that is because string copy will go until it reaches a zero, if you're not sure how long your string is, string copy can cause problems. If it doesn't find a null terminating character, it can overrun the buffer you've given it. This can actually corrupt memory in your program. It can also be used by hackers to compromise your program, to actually gain access to your computer sometimes. Either way, this is a bad idea, and that's actually why there's an alternative called string end copy. And string end copy is just like string copy, except you give it a maximum number of bytes to copy. So this will work just like string copy, but if it finds that it's copied n bytes already, then it will stop and it won't just run all over your memory. So that's really nice if you don't really trust the string that you're copying. Uh, maybe it came from a user input, maybe it came over the network. The point is if you don't trust it, if you're not comfortable with your strings, string end copy is a much safer option. So folks, that's it for today. Now you know the difference between string copy and mem copy. I hope this helps you in your next project. And until next time, I'll see you later.